Hello, welcome to another Ninja KTO video. Today I'm going to be showing you the Mold King, uh, what is that? Let me see, Mold King, Mauser, Mauser 98K, Snapper. It looks like it's from World War II, but I wouldn't know, because I don't know. <laughs> um, it, it costs like $40, this one didn't come with a box, but... This one's like forty, forty-four dollars. Totally worth the money, and uh, it's just a super. It feels super good. It's three, about three and a half feet long. Stock is pretty sturdy. Um, the only weak point is really the handle because it's only three studs wide for something that's like six pounds. Not that heavy. I don't know how. I don't know how heavy it is. I haven't weighed it. But uh, yeah, today I'm gonna be showing you this. If you enjoy Legos, subscribe if you want to. <laughs> Check out my other videos. This is the first one that I didn't build. But, yeah. I'll, okay, I'm just going to show you how to load it. So it's a bolt-action sniper rifle. Three and a half feet long. But you just load it like a... You would a bolt-action. Just lift the handle up on its to the side. Lift the handle up. Pull back. And you can see the door now. Um... So you can load the bullets in one at a time. Yeah, you can load them in one at a time. But first, I'm going to show you that you can load in all of them at once. Uh, you have to get it like in the door, push back, and then just keep pushing down until you're at the door. Because it's an internal magazine. It has an internal magazine, and there's a little rubber band powered. Uh, thing to help push them up and that's how you load it I'm gonna set up the target so it has a five round internal magazine so you can have five at a time or you can load them in one by one but I'll show you that later so I'm just gonna try to shoot them oops okay sometimes if you pull it too back too far or too hard on the uh, first bullet when it's fully loaded, two bullets fly out of the gun. So let's see if I can. Three for three. Gonna pick up the bullets and. Sh okay. Um. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you the feature where you can load one bullet in at a time. So. Oh, it's hard to get comfortable. It is three feet long, so it's kind of, you know, hard to move around with, but here, let me just show you. Pull back the handle. Just put one in, and you have to push it back, because forward, you see that little blue thing? That is the, well, that's kind of hard to see. Uh, okay. That is the trigger, and that's what this is. So when you're holding it, don't put your fingers on this, because it, it'll make it really hard to shoot. But, yeah, so you put it back, pull the handle forwards, and fire. Oh, wait, no, let's, let me show you. I have to make sure it doesn't go over that handle, because if it does, you'll fire as soon as you push the handle forwards. Okay. Um... It does come with a little strap, but I'd, I wouldn't trust that because it's on the stock, and I don't want to put too much. It goes, like, up at the front right here and at the stock, but I don't want to put that stress on the handle to possibly break it. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll just show you fully how to reload the magazine. Pull it. No, wait, no, that's not showing it fully. Sorry for the inconvenience. I do not know how to edit. I just did it again. I need to be watching the camera. You got your stack. Get it inside the door. Oopsies. Okay, I just had a problem. Um, if this comes undone, the whole mag can come out. But anyways, 
yeah, see, so you have all of the bullets facing one side up to the thing, so that once it's inside the door, as you can see, you can just pull this up and you won't have any issues. Automatically loads one in, and you have your rifle. Okay, so I'm going to show you the scope I made for this. The scope looks pretty good, I'd say. Let me just get the pieces. Um, so, this is the little scope. It's a one-sided thing. You can have it either way, but I'm going to put it to the left, because that's how I did it. Um, so there are these two, the three holes here, and you just have that slide in. Put the pins on the other side. And now the scope is centered. Since it's four wide, I had to do this weird little system to get it in just half. And you have yourself a neat little scope. So, I have another little thing. It is... Is it like this? Yeah, okay. It's this piece. And so sometimes you'll have jams that you need to fix. Where's the piece? Sorry, one second. Got the piece. So this can be used to clear jams in the in the loading system. So in case you get two of those bullets getting out in a weird angle, you can just grab them. I'd show you, but I don't want to purposely jam this. And so you know, it's kind of for any purpose, but you can store it. I mean, like this. Um, you can store it right in this little piece since that's completely hollow. So what you got to do is push it in from the edge or down here. And push that in. So, I also made the second piece that doesn't disrupt the handle. I forgot where I put it. Yeah, like this. And this keeps it in. Nope, it's not like that. Where? How did I? Oh, it's like this. Um, so it doesn't disrupt your grip. It usually doesn't. Why is my grip... Why does it feel so weird? Like, I'm gripping it differently? No. Okay, it's fine. It doesn't affect my grip. Maybe if you have bigger hands, it might. So, this is just a little maintenance thing. You can... Pull that forwards. And slide this out. Oopsies. Slide it out. I'm going to take that off because it kind of ruins the... It doesn't ruin the aesthetic of the gun. I don't know what I'm saying. So, yeah, if you if you like the video, maybe leave a comment. I'll show you how to make a scope and a couple other attachments that I made, I think. Still working on a bipod, but I don't know if that's error accurate. Oh, another maintenance thing. If you need to get the bolt out, you... Let me take this off. If you need to get the bolt out, which is this this whole piece, to clear or fix something that's just farther up the gun, you you can't take it out without breaking some pieces. So I made it an easy version. Um, I made an easy way to get in. You just gotta get this little piece out, which I don't have a remover for. Let me just okay, I got the piece out. So on this side. It is a different piece holding it in. It's like one of these, but with one of, an axle on one end. Let me focus. This, it's like one of these. One by two. Oh, that scared me. Uh, where is it? Why is it not? Okay, I guess. Whatever. Um, so once you take it out, you can... You have to also take this piece off, which comes off. With relative ease. And you can just get this little section here and flip it out. And you can have access to the trigger rubber band. You can and you can take this little L piece off. Oh let me just why is it hard now? It's not usually this hard to get. Yeah, you just gotta pull it straight off. And now you can remove the whole thing by tilting it up to one side just pulling it out it doesn't feel good great to do but 
you can do that. And to get the piece back in, you have to get it up to a certain point. Because this, this whole little rubber band is the firing mechanism. This gets cut on the piece, which gets cut on the trigger, so it stays back. When you release that, this launches forwards. So anyways, to get it back in, you just slide it up. And then after that, you have to wiggle it back in. Oh, okay. Why is, okay, now it's fixed. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, oh, right, I keep, I always forget to put the L piece back on. You gotta. Put that back on. Make sure this piece is in place. Where's the little one by three? And you can just put that back on. Okay, well, I've had a fun time with you. Consider subscribing, consider watching more videos. If you like Legos, tell your friends to check out my channel. Um, have a great day. Have a great day. And also, just get, get this gun. It's totally worth it.